so surprisingly, Javante Tank Davis had an issue or two with Floyd Money Mayweather teaching Devin Haney the dream, the green print, to the Mayweather defense. Javante Davis stated, and I'll quote, I've been doing well by my lonely. Both of their ass the ops anyways. I'm ready to fight whoever, including Floyd. End of the quote. So that took me by surprise. Seeing Javante being bothered by Floyd Mayweather training Devin Haney that much, which I'm going to emphasize later on in this video. Javante also added, that's not trolling either. Them are facts. In addition to that, he stated, and I quote, I was going to do a camp in Vegas, but now that's over with. End of the quote. Now, in my humble opinion, whoever is whispering and drizzling all this envy into Javante Tang Davis ear, it definitely worked because Javante is really bothered by this whole commotion when it's really not a big deal. See, it's one thing if Devin Haney never trained with Floyd Money Mayweather and all of a sudden now Mayweather is his full time trainer, even though that's a potential opponent for Javante Tang Davis down the line. And we all know Javante is signed with TMT promotion. Then, of course, that's an issue. And I can see why Javante will be bothered by that. However, when Javante is actually Floyd Mayweather prodigy as well, and Mayweather been training Javante for the longest, or at least giving him tips every now and then. In addition to that, I remember Floyd Mayweather wanting Javante to move down to Vegas and train there so he could be more focused. However, Javante elected not to do so. And in that particular fight, he didn't make weight. So you could see where the issue was coming from for Floyd because he was seeing Javante Davis in his hometown not being able to focus fully on boxing. So pretty much as a TMT fighter, Javante had all type of resources to reach out to Floyd and train with Floyd, but he did not take advantage of doing so. Now to make matter worse, Devin Haney on the other hand, it ain't like he just popped up to the TMT gym out of nowhere. He always been a guest in the Mayweather gym. Matter of fact, he's not a guest. He's family when it comes to that TMT gym. You would think he part of the Mayweather family as much as I have seen him in the Mayweather gym. Matter of fact, you will think that's his crib as much as I have seen him train there. So this is nothing new. Devin Haney been training at the TMT gym ever since he was a little baby Devin. I believe around 10 years old. He started training with Floyd Mayweather Sr. fully around 13 years old. He always took tips from Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Roger Mayweather. So what I'm pretty much saying, he's a regular at that TMT gym. This is nothing new. In addition to that, to inform the people that's not informed, Mayweather actually known Devin Haney longer than he have known Javante Davis. He got introduced to Javante through Adrian Broner, but he had been knowing Devin Haney for a long time now. So for Javante Davis to get bothered so much to the extent where he wants to fight Floyd, it would have sounded much better if Javante stated, I fight whoever, including Devin. Forget Cruz, give me Devin. That would have sounded much better in my humble opinion. I say that because why attack Floyd when Mayweather is just the trainer that's helping a young bull, a young kid, get to his dream. He's given Devin Haney a tip or two on how to approach his dream. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, Floyd Mayweather, after the passing of Roger Mayweather, may he rest in peace. Inshallah, Floyd Mayweather announced that his newfound goal is to become a trainer so he could pass down the torch and the knowledge and the tradition. That's why he's now training not just Devin Haney, but multiple TMT fighters and even his kids. Furthermore, with the elements being laid out on the table, where is the issue coming from? It's the million dollar question. That's why I said somebody is definitely whispering to Javante Tang Davis ear, but it's just a bunch of gossip because I told y'all time and time again, 
Mayweather and Devin Haney always had that Kobe and Jordan relationship in the sport of boxing. The only difference is this is not a team sport. This is an individual sport. And Mayweather is just passing down the knowledge, which Javante could also do as well and could be a student if he's willing to be all ears and he's willing to put his dedication on the line. So it seemed like the moral of the story, Floyd Mayweather can't have two prodigies. And if Floyd Mayweather is going to have one prodigy, obviously, let it be the fighter under the TMT banner. That's how it seemed like Javante Tang Davis is approaching the situation. And that's how he been feeling lately. But I told y'all on more than one occasion, every single fighter will shape his own destiny with his own hand, with hard work, dedication, blood, sweat, and tears. So Javante could be the LeBron James of boxing. So it's all up to these fighters to shape up their legacy. It ain't just Kobe who always been competitive and compared to Jordan. There's also LeBron James and many more players, which the same thing applies in the sport of boxing. A lot of fighters have the talent, like Floyd Mayweather did, for example, Mike Tyson, Prince Nassim Hamed, and many more fighters and greats, but only few executed the same way Floyd Mayweather did. Obviously, Floyd Mayweather was more gifted than most, but he had the hard work and dedication of a fighter with no talent. That's why he did not fail to execute like some fighters did. Mike Tyson, in my humble opinion, lost to that man in the mirror. Floyd Mayweather did not lose to that man in the mirror. Floyd Mayweather took it as, if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose to somebody that's better than me not to somebody that's better prepared than me. And that's pretty much the key to success. So instead of Devin Haney and Javante having a grudge against each other, fight it out is the perfect answer. And also, every fighter is gonna shape his destiny. So to be compared to Floyd, you're gonna have to live up to Floyd. It's one thing to be compared, but it's another to live up to the Michael Jordan of boxing Floyd Money Mayweather. With that being stated, subscribe below if you want to know some shit about boxing and if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to these decafs, aka dumb casual ass fans slash old media that don't know ish about boxing. And shout out to my bro Ski Dante, the entrepreneur of new media that I'm a part of. That's my Aki. Dante, DBN, will be back sooner than later. It's a minor setback for a major comeback. I know he got hacked, but support my brother for the meantime. Y'all could donate to his cash app that I will provide in the comment section below or in the description box and follow Dante's News Nation. But the channel will be back, inshallah. With that being stated, if you're a casual fan and you want to be a hardcore, all you have to do is click on the notification bell to get notified every time I post to go live on Split Decision. It's a boxing debate slash talk show where our key is the past, present, and future. Pound for pound, undisputed champion. And none of these decaps want to pull up and debate our key. Nobody want to put a blemish on our key record because they obviously can't. If you even dream about debating Aki and winning the debate, you better wake up and apologize on live during split decision. I told y'all, they got me feeling like the Iron Mike of debating, the most feared. They got me feeling like Money May, undefeated, with a record of 412 debates and 412 knockouts. Easy work. So I challenge every single decaf to call in. It's a boxing debate slash talk show. So. All my keys, all my bro skis, y'all could also call in. Love to talk with y'all. Y'all can make y'all own topics, y'all own debates that y'all want to talk about on Split Decision. And you could be featured on the channel if you bring up a great topic or a great debate. With that being stated, Ramadan Kareem to all my bro skis. Take advantage of this holy month and pray harder than ever. And with that being stated, to be continued on the next episode of Aki Aki Ak TV. Peace, and we out of here.
Pull up right in the hook, man. Shoot this. Touch it. 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 Touch it.